Now, if you consider the Copper District of Michigan, the Copper Country, uh, as I said before, is one of the most famous copper producing districts in the world, which was discovered in about 1840. It has a heyday of, of copper production from 1870 to 1920, and uh, actually produced most of the copper used in the, in the United States for much of that time. Um, when CH closed in 1968, a lot of you know this, um, the, uh, the district could produce about 11 and a half billion pounds of copper. Um, white pine uh, produced about 4 billion pounds, and there's probably uh, 2 or 3 billion pounds left in that deposit. The copper wood, which is, has a very similar geology to this mine, is like maybe a couple billion pounds. So it's a, it's a huge district. It's, uh, it's world famous. And uh, if you look at the map of the Upper Peninsula, here's the copperwood. It's now uh, on the permitting white pine on the other side of the Porcupine Mountains. Um, here's the Eagle Project, uh, Aquila, uh, which is basically, this is the Mac 40 Project, basically zinc dominated, <coughs> but uh, with significant copper and precious metal. Credits. This is the ropes mine that uh, I worked on back in the 80s. And uh, the Conodola mine, which is a huge reserve of, of copper, but it's uh, very low grade, so it's probably not even um, This is the copper country, as you all know. These are the, the major uh, developments up there. If we go to the next slide. Uh, the native copper deposits in the Keweenaw are, are located in this zone of uh, lava flows, uh, flood basalts, 